Welcome back to a road that probably only a few have taken. Ancient temple now. And I am getting kind of concerned. Uh, since I was not able to get a star in those woods, there is, uh, I believe, the other level where I was not able to get a star somehow, even though it didn't have flowers, so... Uh, hmm. Maybe that one uh, where it was before was a bit more understandable, maybe. I'm still getting confused here. I hope I don't need 100% of the stars in order to get to the final boss. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay there. Anyway, checking here if there are any sort of secrets, any sort of flowers. No, it seems to be quite empty here. I could probably try going a little bit higher if I wanted to check. But it would probably still be just really, really empty. And given the size of this temple right here, I'll probably find the flowers I need anyway. Maybe even any other sorts of secrets. Yeah, ooh, whoa. Let's stay up here, Luigi. Let the buzzy beetles take care of their own issues. Refuses to get out of its shell. Well, it can stay in its shell, fine. I must have broken something else then, because uh, the beetle only returned once. Ooh, we got that generator too. Maybe kick one more. Again, blowing something up. We're breaking through. So for that, I will abandon my propeller block for now. Maybe that other switch, presumably not at a wall. It's right here. Good. So, uh, we got one flower. Any more color here? If I can duck through this, maybe I could take a little shortcut, but... Uh, maybe not. At least I can get back through this. Good. Now we finally get past this. Well, still one and the same. And uh, something else. We gotta find a piece switch somewhere, I believe. Uh, it should probably be all the way on this side. You need, you really need the exercise for this one, as it would seem. And you are really going to get your exercise. And we are really going to get our P-switch. We are right here. Maybe a kick. Or maybe not. So, whoops. One more time. You'll never change. Your attitude, anyway. Except maybe what they wear. That's about it. There's still the same in my book. Press this. Uh, now, uh, run. Am I gonna need another key switch though? I think I'll be okay. Skeletons obviously will not. Although it depends. Maybe they will be okay after they die and they weren't okay before. I could hope I was helping somebody out by doing that. Somebody who is already dead, anyway. How do I need to do that? Be quick here. This one's not so big of an issue. Got even more platforms just away from the thwops. Got to one-up out of something. I already had 99 lives, so... I don't know what else. But we will take this key. Still not going to be too quick here. Could probably spin jump like that. So that's what I'll stick with right now. Even more of the money, too. Is that key? Here it is. Hammer Brother shall suffer. I wonder what a, wonder what a skeleton Hammer Brother would be like. We got the dry bones, we got the uh, Castlevania skeletons. But a skeleton brother, I assume it would. I assume it would throw bones, uh, despite the fact that it might only have a limited supply of them. Probably throwing bones from its own body, its own ribs, possibly. 
I expect I won't stand there for too long, so uh, I won't have too many ribs to throw. By the time I've passed, or by the time they're defeated, well, they still won't have gotten rid of all of them yet. Hmm. We'll take this, and uh, get to another keyhole. I'd safely assume. Spinies won't get there, though. There's our P-switch. Here's probably me running like crazy. Here we go. Maybe, uh, just need to keep it flat, keep it clear. Running out of time. And... Just barely. <laughs> One... One sixth of a second more, and you'd have to start that all over again. That was one of those times. Down we go. Would be here. Uh, hmm. Toggling the switches uh, one way and then back again. Now we're getting really confusing here. And even more so, we gotta kick the this buzzy beetle shell. There. And something else, uh, what just happened there? Was it the same Buzzy Beetle? As I again refuse to take my chances here with running, given how low they are, I'll probably get crushed. So, I do not want to get crushed. I think I could crush the Birdo, though. Is it still gonna attack me? And still get no reward from it? Oh well. I know now. You gotta pick up but probably just one of these. Probably just one, but uh every time I throw one, uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to hold on to them while climbing. O obviously I'm not gonna be able to hold on to them while climbing. So I need to rely on the ones that are already here. Very well then. Almost you're almost at the bottom. We'll finally get there. we we'll finally get to this flower. Just above the quicksand. I don't even need a P-switch for it or anything. There we go. Flower just like that. Place this right here, because I don't want to lose it. Hmm. Fire to slow me down, too. Press multiple P switches. Okay. There'd be a third one. Or do I just have to be quick here? Alright, so there is a third. Well, such a big base of the pyramid. Shouldn't be surprised. Star for me. And up. Around one more time. Around the dead. Forest of Echoes now. Up the... Lakitu! Still being a bit generous. For possibly... in possibly the wrong way, in terms of Lakitu itself. I should still win this one. Okay, throw this, and the Lotus is still going to spew at me. It's not even gonna get knocked out at all. Alright. At least the flowers will not get knocked out either. I can still get my star. A nice bouncing right there. Could have easily done that with a note block, though. We'll take this. It's another leaf. And forward. And Tanuki, too. Wonder what that platform was for, because it's easy for me to get back up. Particularly with Luigi here. Alright, another flower. So, uh, what happens when I enter this pipe? Ah, uh, we got the return of the darkness. Well. Wow. Hope that giant shy guy does not become dark. It doesn't try to eat me with its own head, with its own forehead or anything. Its own scalp. That would be quite the scalp. I think uh, I would have to get it checked, but I wouldn't even bother. 
At least I hope that a shy guy would bother. Birdo probably wouldn't. Let's uh, Birdo. In my case, I could probably accept this spewing fire. But if Birdo was to do it from the eyeball, that would be that would be scary for anyone around. Okay. I heard another one, but uh, apparently it still didn't come after me. All right. We're out of this. We're into the sky now. Might be dark right here, but uh, still not scary in this case. Well, two Tanukis will probably be good here. So up and bounce. That's good. That's good. We're at the top already. But the uh, check over here. Just for the one ups. So through this. Um, the star was already collected, so, uh, what happened here? Kinda strange. But the next level, next time anyway.